Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. I might get through a vlog without it raining. It's looking pretty good today. Just finished work, I'm bobbed out and I'm glad you're with me. Today we are uncovering the mystery of the Scamondon cotton mill, cotton and spinning mill. And it's over here, we're gonna go and have a look at it. And this is the, the road that leads to it. So I'm just following this, uh, this dike here. I believe it's called Black Dike and that takes us down to where the cotton mill is. And this cotton mill was a massive project. It was huge and uh, unfortunately it ended in tragedy and uh, is still shrouded in mystery to this day. So plenty of water, so I can see why you'd want to build a cotton mill just a little bit further down. We must be getting close to where it is. So it's nestled just below Scammonden Dam embankment. You might just be able to see it uh, through the trees up there. And uh, this mill never saw a day of work in its life. So it really is uh, a fascinating piece of uh, local history. So let's see if we can uh, find it. It's a little bit spooky through there. I'm glad to get out of, <laughs> out of that spooky area. It's opened out here. I thought the mill was going to be here, but it's not. But you can see the lay of the land. It's very harsh land. Dean Head, Dean Head Valley this is. And back in the 19th century, there was only about 400 people eking out a living here and uh, really struggling, really poor. And they had heard about the success in Lancashire of the cotton mills. So they decided to uh, set out a project. Some of the uh, local visionaries had, uh, had decided to, uh, to have a cotton mill here. So among them visionaries was uh, Dr. John Kenworthy Walker. He was a, a local doctor and he sort of spearheaded the uh, ambitious uh, plans to build a mill in this area that would employ a thousand people and uh, rejuvenate the whole valley. So you can imagine the local community was very excited about the prospect of their own mill. And um, in 1861, the foundation stone was laid to a crowd of about 7,000 people, about 7,000 locals, and uh, shares were sold and many invested their entire life savings, dreaming of prosperity. The mill was to be powered by a massive 48 foot water wheel that promised to work throughout the year. Now, despite the initial enthusiasm, the dream began to crumble. The mill structure was completed, a towering six story building made of the finest local stone. Yet it stood empty with no windows, no doors or machinery. The American Civil War had cut cotton supplies by half and the investment dried up. So in 1865, the project's failure culminated in heartbreak. At the shareholders meeting at the chapel up at Paul Moore, the decision was made to liquidate. The despair was widespread, leading to the tragic losses, including Joseph Dyson, who actually climbed up the actual mill that was supposed to give him salvation and uh, threw himself off, took his own life. So behind me, you can see what's left of the mill. We're gonna take a little walk around and you can see the stone is immaculate. Some of the pieces are absolutely massive and it, it stood just uh, derelict for such a long time. And then it was eventually purchased, I think for something like 250 pound. And the guy that bought it uh, just sold the stone and the stone was put on cables because there is no real access road to here. You can see we're in the middle of these woods. Um, and the stone was carried on cables across the valley and, uh, and just uh, sold that way. So there is uh, some left, quite a lot, and uh, the stone is absolutely immaculate. Let's take a look around. So as you can see, there's still quite a lot of it left 
and uh, just imagine it was six stories high. It was fully built just without any machinery doors or windows but everything was there building wise absolutely massive and now it's just a quite a haunting <laughs> yeah quite a haunting uh, vision a reminder of uh, of what might have been just have a look through here you can see how nature is uh, reclaiming this area all the moss and trees growing back that's the inside of the mill see the wall over there and we're just looking through one of the windows now there is a another version of uh, what went wrong here and why the mill never did a day's work and uh, not one bit of cotton spun um, there is another version and it's that the farmers the local farmers at the time did not grant an access road so with no access through road, um, business could not commence. So um, that's what some say, and the others just say that it was bad timing and very unlucky with the American Civil War and the lack of uh, cotton. Got rain and sun. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Dr. Walker, the main visionary that spearheaded this uh, massive project with this mill, he is buried in uh, St. Bartholomew's graveyard and it's only about a mile up the hill and it looks down over this, ironically. Um, but uh, yeah, his ambition to bring prosperity to this area might have failed, but I tell you what, it has brought a fantastic historical story and uh, a little bit spooky as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. A little look into the Scamenden Cotton Mill the ghost mill that never actually happened, never roared into life. I upload vlogs about once a month. Don't hold me to that though. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. Give me a like and uh, I don't know where I'll be next time. But what I do know is I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.